hi guys i hope you are all doing well this is nell and in this video i'm going to give you a complete tutorial on how to edit videos using kinemaster it's a four part tutorial and this is part one and i assure you this series of kinemaster tutorial videos is one of the most complete ones first let me explain a little bit about this app KineMaster is an application for editing videos and you can use it both on your computer and cell phone. I myself use it on my iPad and I've been using this application for more than 4 years and I promise you if you know how to work with it for most of your projects you won't need any other software or applications. Now I want to show you some of the projects I've done using KineMaster. Someone's inside! Oh no, the courses! Oh no, he took the beginner course! What you see was for one of my clients for the Halloween campaign. So KineMaster is not only for editing still videos, but also you can bring your scenarios to reality with this application. General English course! Uh, hi, just to add one thing. Are you preparing for the IELTS test? Then join my IELTS course! Hold on a second guys, two very good points, but let me offer something. Do you want to improve your general English and prepare for the IELTS test? Then register in both courses! By clicking on the link... Look, with the KineMaster application, you can do these types of techniques easily in order to grab the audience's attention. Loose or tight? Which one do you prefer? Loose or tight clothes? I prefer tight clothes. You can even remove the green screen in the easiest way possible and without the difficulties people usually have working with advanced software. Okay, when you open KineMaster, this is what you see. Here we have four main parts. Create new, get projects, my projects, and the settings button. I will explain them one by one. Uh, first, let's go for the settings button on the left side. Let's click on it. In this part, you can manage different features. First, my information. Here, uh, you can see your subscription status. As you see, I'm a premium user, so there are no watermarks anymore, and I can access to tons of stickers, sound effects, and transitions. Uh, but uh, you can start by using the free version of this application but remember that you will have the KineMaster watermark in the top right hand corner about KineMaster as you see you have some information about your KineMaster like the version and terms of service general in this part you are given the ability to manage some items uh, for KineMaster on your operating system uh, like uh, whether KineMaster is allowed to uh, use your photos, microphone, camera, and uh, these type of things. Let's go back. Sorting. Here, uh, you can easily pick how your projects are going to be sorted out. As you see, you can choose date modified, date created, and name. But I always put it on date modified because it helps me find the project I'm working on more easily. And the last part, editing. In this part, uh, you choose whether the application use original photos and videos directly for project or it first uh, duplicates them and then use them. Alright, enough with the settings button. Let's move on to the next part. Here we have three parts left. First, let's go for create new one. By clicking on this button, you can start a new project. So first select the aspect ratio based on the platform you are editing the video for. For instance, if it is a YouTube video, you can go for um, 16 by nine. Or if it is a short video for YouTube, again, you can uh, go for uh, nine by 16. Or if it is a video for Instagram, you can use uh, one by one or four by five. So let's put it on 16 by nine. And the next part, photo display mode, uh, let you choose how your photos are gonna be opened on the project. Fit mode, 
field mode or auto mode. Auto mode means if there is a guy in your photo, the application automatically set a suitable frame for them, in which you can see from the head to the chest. And it's kind of like a face recognition feature, but I always put it on fill. And the uh, two next parts, photo duration and transition duration. You can set the duration of photos and, and transitions by default, but of course you can change them in the project while you are working. And the last part is the import project button. By this button, you can import Kine file. So you can click on it, uh, choose your file and import it in the project, which I think it's uh, one of the unique features of KineMaster among the other applications you can use on iPad or tablet uh, for editing videos and photos. Let's move on to the next section, Get Projects. Here we have thousands of templates for various uses. As you see on the bar above, we have different categories, social media, vlogs, celebrations, festival, memes, and so on. So based on your goal, you go to the right category. Imagine we want to edit a short video for a YouTube channel. I can check both social media and vlog. Let's go for this one. And I have picked this one before, traveling packing tips, and I have downloaded it before. I go back and I can see it in my project section. As you see, I have it here. Let's tap it. And now this is the amazing feature of this application, a complete pre-designed project that you can use and put your uh, photos, videos, and your text in it. So the only thing you need to do is that uh, you go to the Get Project section and pick a template that you like, the style, I don't know, the color, the fonts, and then come here and uh, replace uh, the photos, videos, and text with yours. Now I want to show you how to do it. For instance, we want to replace this text, traveling packing tips, with mine. So I click on it, click on the edit icon, and here we go. Easily write your text. Let's write my trip to Paris. And here we go, my trip to Paris, and this is here. Now let's choose a photo and substitute it with uh, one of my photos. Uh, this one, click on it, hit the replace button here, and it goes to your gallery, photo section, and then just pick your photo. Okay, uh, by the way, this is not a photo taken by me. So simple. If you want, uh, you can change the frame of it. Again, select it. And from the window opened here, hit cropping. And by dragging, uh, you can simply change the frame. You can also uh, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, I think this frame fits the best. Another thing you might want to change is the audio files, which is exactly the same as substituting photos with yours. By the way, guys, I will explain this crop, text, adding media, and every other features in KineMaster in details in the next or in the two next videos. This is gonna be a complete tutorial, step by step. Please just uh, give it time and stay tuned to the next videos.